Today in the news we've got Intel, AMD, Samsung and Nvidia. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Intel's 10 nanometer process has been through one hell of a roller coaster over the last few years. I mean, the thing was supposed to be on the shelves back in 2016. After two years of delay, Intel still continues to push the message that they are making progress on the new node. Now, the only CPUs with 10 nanometer currently available from Intel are mobile chips without integrated graphics. According to a report from Semi Accurate, Intel is apparently killing off the 10 nanometer process. Process. This info was relayed to the publication via trusted moles inside of the company. Well, turns out that Intel on the other end is refuting those claims completely saying once again that they are making good progress on 10 nanometer and that yields are improving consistent with the timeline they provided. According to this timeline, we should see the node roll out in the holiday period of next year. So what gives? If Intel refuted the claims, why am I talking about this? Well, first, I want you to stay into the loop but second something might be happening here now this is 100% speculations on my part but I think that Intel might delay the chips one more time for us DIYers a major rollout of a process node doesn't mean that we will have those CPUs available to slide into our new motherboards we might see a bunch of laptops tablets maybe even OEMs get the chip before yields are good enough for them to sell the CPUs individually what do you think do you expect expect Intel to deliver the chips in time after two years of delay? Let me know your thoughts down below. Then we got Nvidia, which is ready to strike back in case AMD releases a new RX series cards. With the rumors of a Radeon RX 590, the 1060 might lose its appeal. Well, videocards.com reported that a new variant of the 1060 is in the works with GDDR5X memory. Well, little update, it's official. Nvidia updated their website and the 1060 has a GDDR5X variant. This would make it the fifth version of the 1060 worldwide or the third version if we exclude the Chinese market. I'd love to see what kind of performance improvements GDDR5X will bring to the table. Also, I wonder if AMD's rumored 590 will be able to beat it. Speaking of AMD, their Navi GPUs are apparently doing quite good in lab testing. The 7 nanometer chip is said to be better than expected by Fudzilla. The publication goes on to give us some more info. For example, the Navi GPUs are targeted as a Polaris replacement for the mid-range market and that we are looking towards GTX 1080 performance at around $250 US. Some of us thought that Navi would be a multi-chip module that would use some kind of infinity fabric but it seems like the die will be a monolithic chip with gtx 1080 performance at 250 dollars this card could definitely be the best bang for your buck considering that the rtx cards fall flat in price to performance and that the upcoming gtx 2060 will definitely not outperform them amd has a real chance to pull through like they did with the rx 480 the only hurdle here would be the release date i mean i highly doubt that this navi generation will come in the first half of next year, but we won't know until we hear a little more from AMD. Moving on, Samsung revealed some pretty amazing display technology during a presentation last Thursday. The event was private and only for select business partners. Ice Universe on Twitter leaked some information from the presentation, and wow, this is pretty much the future of smartphones. They revealed four technologies called FOD, HOD, SOD, and UPS compatible with their next generation AMOLED displays. FOD is something that we've seen before, allowing for fingerprint sensing on display Display, although this version uses ultrasonic pulses to read the fingerprints instead of an actual fingerprint sensor. Futuristic stuff right there. HOD is haptic feedback on the display, although it's nothing like simple vibrations. Apparently, it gives buttons on the screen a physical feel. SOD, or sound on display, is something that has been seen before where the glass is used as a large speaker panel. And finally, UPS, which is under panel sensors. This is what we've been waiting for. 
this technology would allow sensors like cameras to be placed under the display. Finally, the notch will be gone. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this. A bezel-less phone that looks like a slab of screen is a beautiful concept, but when did we start hating bezels so much? Bezels can look good, they help us hold the phone without triggering buttons, and they allow us to have square screens. I mean, look at the Pixel 3. Did you notice that the radius on the top of the display is different from the one at the bottom? I mean, this would drive my OCD nuts if I owned it. Anyways, that concludes our video today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how your day is going. You can always click right here to see the latest video and right here to subscribe to Boot Sequence, the channel. Make sure you drop a like. And by the way, thank you very much for voting on the last video. I'll start working on that PC Rescue episode ASAP. Stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one. Snows!